So Apple Vision Pro is coming out. Uh, if you don't know what Apple Vision Pro is, Apple Vision Pro is basically the goggles. Apple is coming out with a new goggle that puts you in augmented 3D reality. And I've seen these goggles and they drop February 2nd, pretty expensive, they $3,500. But I can tell you guys this now, when those goggles get to scale, and they become affordable, we might as well say bye to each other because life won't be the same as, as we know it. It just won't. Here's a little commercial to show you what it looks like when you got them on. That's just, you have them on. You can still see your surroundings, but you can basically watch a movie. They got this amazing surround sound. But but here's a better commercial. I'm gonna turn the sound off because I don't want. Now this is this man. He has the goggles on. She got the goggles on. See how you could talk on the phone with him. You could walk around the house. You could do your work with an invisible computer. You can still play with the kids. You can totally immerse yourself in them to the point where wherever you're at, a person could come meet you. And and you guys will look like you're sitting in 3D with one another that fast. Literally, this is what will happen. And I mean, a very lightweight. They're like the Oculus on steroids, if you ever use the Oculus. But this is what you can see. And you can blow that up. If you get an interruption, it'll dim down. It's insane. It's insane. These goggles are going to change the face of everything. I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, this is their best invention since the Apple iPhone. And we're going to really be walking around here. Everybody going to have these goggles on. Like it's about to get, it's, it's about to get rough out here, man. The way this technology is going, it's about to get rough. Everybody will be able to walk with those goggles. And now, like, I guess if we all got the goggles on and I'm doing my podcast, now, with the podcast, I guess all of y'all could just literally, it's like we all in the room together and I'm at a podium or something like that. But uh, good luck to regular reality. I mean, it's going to be rather old-fashioned to probably even be with people. And what's so concerning about it is this, man. It's, um, you know, like right now, we have one of our highest suicide rates ever. Uh, I believe in 2023 and even though we're more connected than ever before with the internet and social media sites we're fractured and what I mean by that is our attention is fractured meaning your algorithm shows something totally different from your friends we were more united when we all watched that one tv show together so we, we didn't have many options, but, you know, everybody watched The Cosby Show. Everybody watched Family Matters. Everybody watched Martin. We were more united. Now we don't have that. Everything is so fractured. The tension, the tension is like oil, and the attention spans are just everywhere. The only, the only person that know you're real, what you really like are these algorithms. So this is going to fracture people even more because once you put these goggles on, Guess what? You could just immerse yourself in dopamine. It's just, it's going to overly stimulate everybody. Dopamine will be pouring out of the brain. And I mean, you're just happy. You're happy. You're happy all the time. And it's over, man. It's over. I don't even know, like, you know, we'll be doing stand up, I guess. I guess it'll be cool because I guess if y'all mess with me, whatever, I could do a show in this, uh, in these goggles, like a virtual reality show. And I could do me, you know, an hour stand of y'all pull up on me right from the comfort of your home and it'll be like you're there. Even with NBA, NFL tickets, man, I really believe it's going to disrupt. It, this shit might disrupt live experiences. Uh, and I'm not saying it's going to disrupt all of it. But the way these ticket fees are going, where you could sit in your house, like just imagine you could buy, you could pay $50 in them goggles to sit courtside at an NBA basketball game. Come on. It's going to be crazy. 
And I'm going to watch that social. Thank you, uh, Keisha. I will definitely watch the documentary Social Dilemma. I'm going to check that out again. But um, it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the algorithm is something that, well, basically what I say about the algorithm is 8 billion humans on Earth. And we are all primarily in an algorithmic maze. Like, they know what you're thinking. They know where you're going. It knows your patterns. It studies you, and it gives you more of what you like. That is very, very powerful. In the 48 Laws of Power, it says, know a man's thumbscrew. And who knows our thumbscrews more than Facebook and uh, our brother Zuckerberg? Who who knows them? They know everything about you. Your likes, dislikes, political beliefs, secrets. It knows. This is where we are right now. So, ah, good luck, guys. It's going to be nice knowing y'all. Hopefully, y'all will remember me in the metaverse or the Google or the Apple verse or wherever you show up at. I mean, we all be at a party one day in avatars. We all be partying in some digital club in avatars. I might show up as a, as a purple bear and then you guys are dragons and elephants and whatever you want to be. This is a very, very creepy place, man. Very creepy. And here you go. Tiger never dated a black woman. No, he didn't. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry you didn't. Didn't date a sister. A lot of these brothers should know better after what happened with OJ, but they don't. <laughs> they just don't listen. To be fair, Tiger had to go one way or the Arthur Ashe, first tennis player. Tiger being black people because had to play out either extremity. The land, uh, I don't know what the hell you talking about, Aaron. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't read all of that. <laughs> So, moving right along, this is a pretty